Hey guys, so I'm back with another video, and this is going to be my April book haul iPad edition. So these are all the ebooks that I got on my iPad um, in April, and there's about 13 books on my list, and most of these, um, 12 of them I got for free on bookbub.com, and so I will leave a link to that website down below. And it's a great site for getting um, ebooks um, on your iPad or Kindle or uh, Nook, whatever e reader you have. Um, <clears throat> it's great for getting those books either for free or some of them are like one or two dollars. So they're either super cheap or free. So um, I'll leave a link to that site below. And yeah, let's get started. So the first book um, is No Place Like Oz by Daniel Page, um, which I talked about uh, in my April wrap-up, and I sort of did like a mini-review of it um, in my star rating system video, so I'll leave a link to that down below. And pretty much um, No Place Like Oz you know, Dorothy returns back to Oz, and it's the story of her journey of how she became who she is in the book Dorothy Must Die. It's in that one, she's like this really evil tyrant that they're trying to get rid of. And so in No Place Like Oz, it sort of shows you how she goes from that sweet, innocent girl to this tyrant ruler of Oz. Um, so yeah, I really liked it. Um, next book is Bound by Kira Sato. Um, and most of all of these books actually um, that I got on my iPad are fantasy books. I really love fantasy. And so um, all of the books that I talk about are going to be fantasy. And sorry I don't have, like, a way to show you the cover of the books. Um, I'm recording on my iPad. I usually record my videos on my iPad. And my books are on my iPad. So I don't really have a way to show you the cover. Um, but I guess just by the author and the title... You guys can look it up. But um, Bound by Kurosato is about a girl named Aurelia. And she's 16. And she just wants to be a normal girl. You know, she's trying to save up for college. She's helping her grandma, trying to help her grandma pay the rent and stuff. And so she takes a summer job at the infamous Darkwood Plantation. And so while she's there, some strange things start to happen, and she discovers these powers, and there's like a whole bunch of mystery um, that she discovers about herself and the plantation. And so, yeah, this it just sounded like an interesting, intriguing book, and it was free, so I was like, why not? Then the next book I got is Ignite by Caitlin Davis. And the main character of this book is named Kira, which is kind of funny because in the previous book I just talked about the author's name is Kira. So, um, Ignite, the main character is Kira Dawson, and she moves to South Carolina and ends up meeting Luke, who becomes her best friend, and Tristan, who's this, like, mysterious bad boy. And she knows that they're keeping secrets from her, but she, when she, it says when she discovers Tristan's lust for her blood and her own dormant mystical powers, Kira is forced to fight for her life and make the decision between the familiar comfort of friendship and the fiery passion of love. So it sounded interesting. There's magic in it. There's um, of course, there's a love story, as with all books, but, um, it sounded interesting, a little bit mysterious, so, 
Then the next book I got, it's not really a book, it's more like a pamphlet, I guess, um, on <clears throat> my iPad, but it's called 35 Tips on Saving Money by Wolfgang Reeb. And so, title is pretty self-explanatory. It's tips on how to save money, and which in our day and age, in our society, that's always the helpful thing. And so, um, like I said, it's not really a book. It was only 30 pages long, so more like a short pamphlet on the iPad or whatever. And so the next book I got was Edgar Allan Poe's Complete Poetical Works. Again, the title is kind of self-explanatory. Um, it's Edgar Allan Poe and all of his um, poems that he wrote. So, next book is Parched by Z.L. Arkady. Arkady, I think. Anyway, so the main character here is named Clarity. And she's an advising exec, advertising exec. And she was seeing this guy named Baron Ford. And she had one date with them, and then all of a sudden he disappeared. And she never saw or heard from him again. Until five years later, she sees him again. And by this time, he, he actually... Um, tries to work with her, like, he requests her to be assigned to his multi-million dollar account, and so, but she wants nothing to do with them, so she's trying to avoid him, obviously, but finally, when he gets a chance to talk to her, he warns her that she's not safe in the city anymore, especially, um, since the fog has settled over Manhattan, um, I don't know, they didn't say too much about what this fog is or whatever, obviously, I guess you'll have to find out when you read the book, but I guess there's this fog or whatever that settles over the city and for some reason she's not safe or anything, um, but yeah, I don't know. It sounded interesting. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of mystery to it, which I also like mystery. So we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. And the next book is A Death Displaced by Andrew Butcher. And um, this one says, Nick has a daydream of a woman's death and tries to ignore it. But events start to mimic the daydream, and he realizes it was a vision of the future. Julia is saved by a stranger, but there are consequences. She becomes displaced in the world, giving her an unexpected ability. And set on an island with a dark past of his own, Nick and Julia must work together using their newfound abilities to unravel a mystery. So, I guess basically, he can see the future. He saw her death, and she was saved, but I guess because of it, she has, like, this unexpected ability or power. I don't know. And so now they're, like, I guess on an island somewhere, and they have to work together to solve whatever mystery um, is going on there. So, I don't know. It sounded more interesting when I first read it online, but now I'm kind of like, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I will get to these books eventually. Um, I have so many books on my TBR list, but, um, and I don't, and I don't know why I keep buying 
or not buying because they're all free, but I don't know why I keep getting so many books on my on my iPad. Yes, I hardly ever read books on my iPad. Like it takes me forever to read one book on my iPad. It's not like physical books. I'd rather have a physical book in my hand. So if all of these were actually if I had the physical copies of these books, I'd probably get to them a lot faster than just having them on my iPad. But I will get to them eventually, so we'll see. The next book is Lich Gates by S.M. Boyce. And this one, the main character's name is K uh, Kara, which is very similar to Kira. So we had two Kiras before, and now we have a Kara. So and Kara discovers the world of Aurea. It's kind of a strange name. It's O-U-R-E-A. I don't know. Aurea, I guess. But, um, so she pretty much finds this ancient, um, magical book called the Grimoire. And she opens it up and discovers this world, um, called Aurea, I guess. And... She ends up getting, developing powers from this book. And so, she, I don't know exactly how, but she ends up in Aria, and she's in the middle of a war there. And she doesn't know who to trust, um, obviously, because she, she's never been there before, um, I guess. So she doesn't know who to trust. She doesn't know um, anyone there or anything. And so she meets this soldier named Brayden who vows to keep her safe. So she starts trusting him but um, even though Brayden uh, starts to care about her too, his real motive is getting the grimoire. So he has an ulterior motive behind this, um, and that's to get the, the grimoire, the book. And so this sounded like an interesting book. Um, again, who knows when I'll get around to actually reading it, but it did sound like another one of the interesting ones. And then, so this next one is Open Minds by Susan K. Quinn. And again, we have the main character's name is Kira. So that's three Kiras now. So, I don't know. I guess fantasy books have a lot of Kira, Kara uh, names in them. Anyway, so and Kira Moore is 16 and she's a zero. Which, in this world, a zero is someone who can't read thoughts or be read by others. And so they're outcasts and they can't be trusted. But one day she accidentally controls um, Ralph's, Ralph's mind and nearly kills him. And Ralph is her best friend. And so she ends up one day accidentally controlling his mind, nearly kills him. And so she tries to hide her new ability from her family and from her best friend. And she's pretty much dragged into this, like, underworld where mind controlling everyone she loves is, like, just the big... It says... Mind controlling everyone is just the beginning of the deadly choices she'll have to make. So, yeah. That one sounded kind of interesting as well. But, anyway, um, that's where I will stop for now. Because my iPad's about to cut me off um, from time. So, there will be a part two of this video with the rest of the books that I got on my iPad. So I will see you guys for part two. Bye.